Hello, in today's video we will show you how you can prepare this beautiful sourdough bread from a starter. As you can see it's very nice, very soft, it have all the air bubbles the bread needs and it tastes amazing. So let's jump into the video so we can guide you how you can prepare it for yourself at home. First thing we need to prepare the starter and we need to prepare the starter the day before we need to feed the starter we have 164 grams of the starter and we need to feed it with 60 grams of brown rice flour and 60 milliliters of room temperature water the water need to be filtered or bottled one don't use the tap water because it have just too many chemicals and now we need to mix the starter for 5 minutes now we need to cover the starter and let it to rise for about 24 hours on the next day we need 350 milliliters of water 15 grams of psyllium husk and 10 grams of ground flax seeds and we need to mix it all everything and it's gonna be well mixed and put it on side for the psyllium to start working and while the, we're waiting for the psyllium we're gonna prepare the dry ingredients we need 100 grams of tapioca flour hundred grams of brown rice flour fifty grams of buckwheat flour and fifty grams of potato starch one teaspoon of salt and 30 grams of manuka honey you can as well use sugar if you would like now we need to mix everything so it's gonna be nicely all combined and we need to put it on the side Now you can see the starter we prepared the day before, it's got all the bubbles, it start working, it rise nicely, so we need to add all that starter into the psyllium mixture. And now we will need to mix everything nicely until everything gonna be nice and combine all together. As you can see everything is nicely mixed and now we're gonna add half of the dry ingredients first and we're gonna mix it until they're gonna be nicely all combined all together and then we're gonna add another half of the dry ingredients and we will still need to mix it until it's gonna be nicely all combined basically with the bread is more you're gonna mix better you will mix and more nice and more 
fluffy it will be later on more nice we're gonna grow more air bubbles I'm gonna be inside because that's the whole point of mixing it properly as you can see the dough got um, solid already so now we're gonna take it out from the bowl put it on the surface put some uh, flour so it won't stick to your surface Now we're gonna fold it a bit by hand and as I said we're doing all that so we're gonna give a lot as much air inside the dog as possible so it, then the bread will look amazing so then the bread will have all that air inside it, as you seen at the beginning of the video. Now just make a little bowl like a bread shape just give a um, shape to the bread now take a bowl put the towel inside sprinkle with some uh, flour so the dog won't uh, stick and place the dog inside the towel and that's where we're gonna keep it for next few hours to grow Sprinkle some flour on top so the towel won't stick to it. And we cover the bread. Put it in a plastic bag and uh, close it. Just don't close it too tight. Just leave some air flow inside. Why are we putting it in the bag? Because thanks to that it's gonna stay in a bit warmer place. Just make sure when you tie it, don't tie it too strong because you want some air to go inside. And now we're gonna leave it for 6 to 8 hours to rise in a nice warm place. And now after 7 hours, our bread looks like this. It grows quite a bit. Now we need to take it out from the bowl as you can see it's much bigger than before so it grows very nice you can leave it a bit longer if you would like that's not a problem now we need to transfer it to the baking paper now we're gonna do some cuts on top that is optional if you would like to give your bread a bit some shapes then you can do it just make sure to use a sharp blade a sharp very sharp knife and now we're gonna transfer it on the pan where the bread gonna be baking basically and now we need to preheat the oven to 200 degrees and we will bake for about 1 hour and 10 minutes before we need to prepare a tray with water and put it underneath the bread so, the bread, so this one gonna create the steam so the bread won't get dry and first we're gonna bake for 40 minutes and we need to cover it with kitchen foil so it's gonna cook nicely inside but at the same time it won't get burned outside and it bake for 40 minutes after 40 minutes we will remove the kitchen foil and we will leave in the oven for another 30 minutes as you can see the bread is done now if you would like the bread to be more crispy you can just take the bread out and just put it without anything and for another maybe 10-15 minutes so the bread gonna get nice and crispy all around and then just leave it to cool down and you can eat it and enjoy this beautiful sourdough bread from a starter you can see that the air is as you said that's why the thick kneading is very important so you can pump a lot a lot of air inside so you can have this amazing bread for you thank you for watching check our next video on the left 
is hand side and stay healthy.